Hello, uh, this is a short video, uh, kind of in the series of uh, videos I've been, I've been, I started, I don't know how many videos I'll have in a series, but what this video is regarding to, it's, it's the, the series is regarding proof texting um, that I think is an, an unwise generally, and I think all Christians would agree that, um, but this is regarding various issues that usually come up inside of Protestant or inside of Evangelical or just inside of Christian uh, faith uh, issues. The last one I did was on Romans 2.11. You, look, you can find that one here on my YouTube profile. Um, but this one is going to be on Galatians chapter 3. Um, regarding uh, the, the verse that says, I'll just read it here. Uh, there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free man, there is neither male nor free male, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. This verse, uh, very briefly, uh, is used very often to promote, defend, articulate, whatever, uh, an idea the position for women in the pastoral leadership role. Now, I'm going to not try to talk about that specifically today because I want to look at this verse and what it is saying. I have a position on women in, in, in pas as pastors. Um, my position, just for the sake of information, I, I think that it's unbiblical. Uh, but generally speaking... I don't want to talk about, I don't want to defend that or articulate that today, but I, want, I thought you might appreciate knowing where I come from. But I want to look at this verse in context to see if that's a, this is an appropriate verse to use for this kind of argument. And in chapter 3, Paul says basically the, the intent of the law, which happens to be the, uh, the summary statement in my NASB there, uh, the summary kind of uh, uh, deal there for this section. But he talks about... In starting in verse 22, but the scripture has shut up everyone under sin so that the promise of faith in Jesus Christ might be given to those who believe. But before faith came, we were kept in custody under the law, being shut up to the faith that which was later to be revealed. Therefore, the law has become our tutor to lead us to Christ, so that we may be justified by faith. But now that faith has come, we are no longer under a tutor, for you are all sons of God through faith in, G in Christ Jesus. For all of you who are baptized in into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free man, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's descendants, heirs according to promise. So, long story short, um, this verse is speaking about salvation. It's saying that whether you are slave, free, male, female, Jew, Greek, uh, in Colossians, barbarian, Scythian is used. Uh, in other words, it doesn't matter your social class, your social status, your gender, your, your, your race, as far as salvation in Christ. You can be justified by faith. And if you are, then you're an heir according to your, 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 your clothed in Christ Jesus. And Abraham's descended the heirs according to promise, just like anybody else. So this is talking about salvation, not about service. This is about uh, positioning Christ, not position in the church. So uh, my friends and, and brothers and sisters in Christ who agree and or disagree with me, this verse is not, I, I submit this verse is not a valid one to use in the argument of uh, women pastors, women teachers of over men or whatever. This is not one to use because it, it's not talking about that. It's talking about our position in Christ and that it's open to people regardless of gender, ethnicity, you know, uh, social status, uh, or whatever. So may God give us all grace. Uh, I pray that this is beneficial. And for those of you who disagree or who, who, who do believe that uh, it is okay for women to be pastors in the, in the church, let's talk about it, let's debate it. But this scripture, I think, needs to be off the table because it's not talking about it. And you might disagree with me, but show me the context where it's talking anything about Christian service, and then maybe I'll, 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 I'll edit and remove this video or, or put up my own uh, response uh, in, in, in my change of heart and mind. So may God grant us grace, glory, glory to God alone, and uh, souls Christus.